is part two of our ride across Missouri on the Katy Trail in June of 2024. If you didn't catch part one, stop what you're doing right now. Go back and watch that one. I'll have a link underneath this video or at the very end so you can go back and catch that. Also, we rode this in October of 2023. And if you go to the very end, I'll have a link to my cycling videos and you can go back and watch that. If you haven't subscribed, do so. Hit the little thumbs up and share the link of this video with your friends. Then without further ado, let's jump into part two of Riding the Katy Trail. And we're picking up the adventures of my family in Jefferson City, halfway across, and we've got three days of riding left. Cool little hostel they have set up here. 10 bucks a head. Not bad. It has showers, bathrooms, everything you would need. Hey, Abby! Putting on tattoos. Right here. Okay, now put your other hand over and hold it down for a minute. Three. Two, one, ta-da! We are in Mocaine on the Katy Trail. So these lovely ladies have spent the last week preparing baked treats for you all. Um, and so their motto is, take what you want, leave what you want. They're raising money to decorate their new rooms. This is Standing Rock. It didn't fall off the cliff. It's a part of the cliff that didn't erode away as fast as the rest. lunch today. Close Hours Bar and Grill. This place is awesome. It's pretty cool hearing the cicadas sing to you as you ride along. I know they bug some people, but they really have a beautiful sound. The rhythm, how they crescendo and fade away. It's really kind of special. I like it. Oh, yeah. That there, you see a real productive pear tree. Uh -huh. And that apple tree back there. Can I just put a new food roof on it about a year and a half ago, and I got to do a lot of exterior. And How goes it? Good. Love riding my bike. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yep. This is so pretty down here. Beautiful. The thing you would recommend bringing, what would it be? The Bluetooth speaker, for sure. 
We wish we had it. It would be a, uh, a phone uh, battery charger. That's very important to me. <laughs> I invested in a very good raincoat, and I'm very happy, especially today, that I had it. I would not need so much clothing. I would not need so many <laughs> Yes. or pants. I could wear maybe the same pair of pants after biking every day. Clothes pins, because you need to hang your clothes up when you get back to camp to dry, and the shower curtains are not wide enough. Battery packs for your phones. Uh, there's the GPS apps, uh, they just eat the phone batteries. It's a camp chair. So when you get into camp, you can just sit down and have your back supported. Bug spray, because we're getting attacked by mosquitoes. And you've got a brilliant idea that you've come up with. Yeah, so my idea was I get really, really hot when I ride. So I started buying dresses at thrift stores. And we kept riding with them, riding with them, but we decided we needed some pockets like the, the bike shirts have. So we are in the process of trying to figure out how to make the pockets to go on the bike dresses so we ha are cool when we ride and comfortable. Yeah, and you'll sell them on Etsy or something when you get them done? We're hoping to, yeah. Yeah, cool. that's our plan. Headed over to Herman. Our stop for this evening. They're doing road work, so we get the bridge all to ourselves. And then tomorrow, there's the bridge we're heading out in the morning. Back to the other side of the river and on to the Katy Trail again. Leaving Camp Herman to Augusta today, second to last day. Day four, Jonathan. How are you feeling? Day five, actually. Okay, so I can't count. Look at this, you cross the river and immediately you're into this tunnel of green. So different from the other side where Herman was. This trail is so pretty. It's hard to believe sometimes. How did you like Herman, Ty? I thought Herman was really good. It's nice. It's Almost like a European village, isn't it? Yes, it is. There's lots of little houses. You have, have you like yeah. Lives. One of the things that surprised us was the cicadas. It was really anticlimactic. We came there expecting cicada get -in. Once in every 221 years event where so many cicadas hatch, you can't believe it. But they just turned out to be very, very friendly little bugs they enjoyed hopping on you every now and then, would let you hold them, and they sang to us the whole way across Missouri.
This is a new visitor center. They just opened it up. All right, I am Anthony Orazio. I am the park superintendent here of the Mid-Eastern section of the Katy Trail State Park. We are here at the Mercantile and Farmers Bank at Tree Lore, now called the Ted and Pat Jones Welcome Center at the Mercantile. And when was your first official day open? Today is the first official day that we're gonna be open to the public moving forward from here. We're in here, we're open, and we're gonna be selling merchandise currently We've almost sold out of everything we had here today, which is awesome. So the shows may look a little bare. In but, one day. Yes. And come on down and visit Missouri. So have you been ahead or behind us? Behind. As Editor Dave, I want to jump in here real quickly and just say something in case you're wondering about it. I've received no sponsorship. No money has changed hands. And there is no sort of affiliation between me or any of the companies or organizations I've mentioned in this video, even though I sing their praises. This has been a wonderful ride and I'm more than happy to give them some free advertising. So be sure to check out their links that I include in the videos or underneath. Back to our ride. As you can see, the trail surface on the Katy Trail is just smooth, well packed, drains well, doesn't get wet, it's not muddy. It really is a world-class trail as far as the surface goes. This is another one of the visitor centers along the trail. They sure have done a lot of work and invested a lot in making this such a great trail. And each one of these little museums or stops is totally set up differently. This one is loaded with all kinds of arts and crafts stuff. My name is Tasha. You are in Piers, Missouri. You'd just be amazed at the number of people that come to the Katy Trail and the places that they come from. And I tell you, people who bike, ironically, are just the nicest people. And from our perspective, the people who work in these centers are the nicest people. Oh, well that just does my heart good. So thank you very much. We love having you. So we invite you to come back frequently. <laughs> Definitely oh, yeah. stop and check these out if you're riding the Katy Trail. They're well worth your time. It's an old caboose off the railroad line. My name is John. We are in Marthasville, Missouri, mile marker 78 on the Katy Trail at the KT Caboose. Grilled cheese, chips, and a pickle. This is my place. I've been running it for four seasons now. Got a brat and the avocado sandwich because I was really hungry. Had to split the uh, healthy food. <laughs> we try and make healthy food tasty here, so we're kind of known for our vegetarian options along the trail. Your apple sandwich was awesome. I think I came up with it, the harvest apple sandwich. This is where we ate in October, the outpost. Great little bistro restaurant in there. Coming into Augusta. This is where we're stopping for the night. One day left on the Katy Trail. And this is a very cute little town. And our camp is down there. What? Ready for dinner? Oh, no. Let's go guys.
All packed up. Ready to go for the last day. Last day of a beautiful ride. And it is chucking down rain. So I'm trying out my debris, which I basically use to keep the sun off me in the desert. Let's see how it does as a rain hat. They did a great job building this trail. Even though it's raining, the water really drains off it well and there's very, very few puddled areas. And it's actually pretty dry. And the rain is starting to let up. Ah, spoke too soon, mud section. Signs of an all weather cyclist. Mud on the back, grit in the teeth. How you doing, Evie? This is Klondike Bluffs, where Mary Willard their Lewis almost fell off and died at the very start of their expedition. Okay, so the rain is lighting up, which is great. And it should turn out to be a really nice day for riding in probably less than an hour here. So that is an awesome way to finish the ride. Weather is clearing up. Hey, hey. So, the sun has come out. The trail is drying up and it's getting warm. So, we're gonna have a great end to the Katy Trail ride. Cute enough for you. Coming into St. Charles. Signs you're entering your final destination. Freeways and big roads. The whole family made it to St. Charles. The only problem we had is that my grandson's bicycle had a mechanical mishap on day three. Everybody made it, everybody enjoyed it. And the whole ride, to quote another rider on the trip, 10 out of 10. All that's left for us now is to change our clothes, hop on the bus, and the long ride back to Clinton, where we started this whole trip, 240 plus miles ago. That's the very end of the trail where the bell is, and food is. You made it, Kai, you did it. Good job, Abby, you did the ride. Yay, Javin. End of the ride here in St. Charles at the Lewis and Clark Boathouse. <laughs> and I am happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent job, Todd. All right, thank you. Another, man. So you got another ride coming? October 6th through the 12th. If you've made it this far, it means you've watched about 40 minutes worth of my content on riding the Katy Trail. Thank you very, very much. That really encourages me. If you click on the little cartoon on my face, it'll subscribe to the channel because I've got more bicycling content coming. If you click over here, it'll take you to the first video on riding the Katy Trail in case you missed that. If you click over here on this icon, it'll take you to a playlist of all the videos I have on bicycling. Anyways, until we meet on the trail, I'll leave you with the word of peace.